His Excellency President William Samoy Ruto and the UDA family, I want to proudly state that in our quest to devolve our party, we chose uh, uh, Kisumu as our first stop. These will be replicated across all regions until we have our presence felt in all counties by having active offices and office bearers and, and engaging with Kenyans to ensure that government delivers its manifesto. It has uh, to be on record that elections will take place in all regions, and I can assure you that in Nyanza we will have a peaceful election that will give back to vibrant leaders that Kenya has never seen before. Most of the leaders here are going to participate in our national elections. We're going to have all our seats opened so that when we have our NDC, we want to see an organizing secretary or a vice chairperson emanating from Luonanza. And I believe we have able leaders here today who are going to take up those positions. As a ship, we must steer ahead. No turbulence is great to a people with focused determination, clear destination, and a steady captain. We have purpose to stick together under the UDA uh, ship and in the hands of our Captain President William Samoy Ruto, we shall forge this party to greater heights that you have not witnessed in the recent past. We will continue welcoming more leaders from all corners of our country. UDA as a home has enough rooms for everyone. We take this opportunity to congratulate the leadership joining UDA for the boldness and patriotism they have shown. We in turn welcome them to join us in the journey of uniting Kenya, building Kenya and delivering the plan as promised to the Kenyan people by our president. Uh, we want also to emphasize and congratulate these members for choosing light as opposed to choosing darkness. Most of them now would have been in the streets doing mandamano, but they have chosen to engage in an engagement that is going to uh, bring development to their region. So I want to take this opportunity, first of all, to congratulate all the leaders who have decided to walk this talk. And behind these leaders are thousands and thousands of Luos who are willing to join our president, deliver his mandate as the president of the Republic of Kenya. So I'll be inviting them to say a word. I will start with uh, Governor Kidero, then Governor yeah, Ranguma. To ski, I want to say my name. Switch the seats. The Secretary General of the Great U, uh, the Secretary General of the Great UDA Party, uh, Honorable Senator Malala, and uh, your group of leaders of the party, we are very, very happy to be here today because we've chosen the path of light. We've chosen the path of people who want to make a difference to other people's lives. We've chosen a path that is missionary ship in nature rather than missionary ship in nature. We had a good meeting with the president and the deputy president yesterday, and we were very happy and greatly assured that uh, despite Nyanza, Luo Nyanza not voting the president and the deputy president, actually, Instead of giving him a poyo, we gave him oyeo, <laughs> which is a small, which is a small rat. But despite that, the first place that the president visited was Nyanza, and he followed it with another visit within three months. And in those three months, he has assured the Nyanza people that we must be part of the Kenya. Kenya must be a single nation. Kenya must be a one nation, and every Kenyan deserves to enjoy the services that. Uh, the government gives. In those visits, we've seen the president give commitment to various roads in Siaya, various roads in Kisumu, uh, various roads in Homabe, and various roads in Migori. 
And the one which we want to note most is the Great Ring Road that starts from Bumala along, along the lake through uh, Kisumu into Homa Bay and to Migori to, the to our border uh, with Tanzania. Lake Victoria is the one biggest resource and one of the greatest investments that the government is going to make is uh, the production of fingerlings in the Kabonyo fish, pro uh, uh, fish project. And uh, Senator Isi, I believe, will mention about it. We, uh, the government of um, President Ruto is giving uh, two billion shillings. Nothing has happened on this project for the last 30 years that, is, that uh, it has been in place. We know that Kenya only produces 200,000 tons of uh, fish when the capacity is a million. When we get to 500,000, which is what Tanz Uganda produces and which is what Tanzania produces, these are great potential. And we thank the president for that investment. We thank him as well for the housing project that uh, started uh, uh, in Homa Bay, the um, affordable housing. And on um, the ensuring that kuna chakula kwa meza na pesa kwa mfuko, he is given CIA uh, 100 million shillings uh, to buy uh, tractors. So we are joining a party that cares about his people, not a party that, uh, like the one we've left, that oh, yes. chaos. is only interested in chaos, is only interested in um, uh, doing things for themselves, but not for the people who elected them. We've heard about Mandamano, and when there's Mandamano, who suffers? It is the common man who suffers. Every year, a million people get into the job market. Actually, 90% of them end up in the informal uh, job market. Uh, yesterday, there was, um, uh, there was supposedly a Mandamano in Migori, but what happened? Our mothers could not go to the market. Omena could not be sold. People could not do what they normally do. So it's our people who suffer. And the Nyanza people are saying no in the strongest possible terms. Also, we don't want to be balkanized because Mandamano, whether we like it or not, is remaining to be a lure affair. We are being segregated from the rest of the Kenyans. And we are saying no, we must be part of Kenya and we are not going to participate in backward activities that do not improve our lives, that do not bring a difference uh, to our, our people's lives. So we are happy to be here, and we will do the best we can with the leadership of UDA party so, can, so that we can build and make a difference to the lives of Kenyans. We are here, and as you can see, the leaders who are here, this is the leadership of Lu Nyanza. Anybody who's not here is not a leader. Yes. <laughs> I'll uh, probably ask uh, the, uh, the rest of my colleagues to say a few, a few words, starting with uh, Ms. Governor's first. Yeah, uh, with Jack Nguma. Secretary General of UDA, other leaders from Nyanza present here. We are here for a purpose. We have come to tell you that we have made a decision as a community, as Luo community, and as leaders that aspire to change the lives of our people. For me, there are three reasons why I'm trying, I, I am moving from the so-called ODM to UDA. One, I subscribe to the manifesto of UDA, the manifesto that considers that person down there as the person that is important in governance equation of this country. I have never been, a, I have not been a politician for long. I was governor of Kisumu for five years. Even when going there, I did not even want to go. 
But when I went, I saw the great need to change the lives of our people. And I wondered, I just went in 2013, I wondered that from 1960 to 2013 we have been doing politics. What was happening? What were we doing to our people? There was no significant difference looking at the time frame, the period that we had taken. And I can tell you today that you may think that we are feeling better, feeling good, but our people are behind and backward in many areas. Which brings me to the second reason, democracy. Democracy is what we desire as a country. We stand for it. It, it may not be the best, but as of now, it is the best system of governance that we have around. So when we have democracy, we are assured of good leadership, we are assured of development, we, have, uh, we are assured of growth. But democracy is practiced at the family level, at the party level, at the national level. You have seen what ODM does. At the family level, I will not be able to inform you because you know yourself <laughs> what you do. But at the party level, at the level of ODM, you know what happens. It's not what happened, what happens every day. In 2013, yes, I got in. 2017, the party, the, the, the votes were being counted in the bush somewhere in Nyakach. How can you count votes or report votes at a place which is not registered as a reporting center? And that they did knowing that they wanted to destroy democratic rights of our people. That is important to me because democracy is what will take us forward, that will change, what will change the lives of our people. And that is what will bring the difference that we desire as a nation. In UDA, there is democracy. In fact, when I sat to evaluate the results of UDA nominations, those we perceived as close to the president were falling. They fell. In fact, they fell and they said, no, 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 if you fall, Sasawa, Mambo ni namna hiyo kwa mana the people don't want you. It does not mean the end of everything. But in ODM, anachukua huyu dadada yake, anachukua huyu ndugu yake, anapenda huyu, si anachukua mtoto kule. Sasa, what kind of the democracy is that? We want a Kenya which is democratic. And I stand here to tell you that we, are, we have decided not because of coercion. We have decided to move on to change our people. But I want to inform you also that our people had moved ahead of us. Our people have moved ahead of us. They will start to say that those are people who have been given jobs, ah, they, are, they have been rejected by the voters. But I can tell you today in Nyanza, our people have moved ahead of us. We are chasing them. <laughs> and we want to chase them so that we offer leadership. We are here to offer leadership to our people so that they do not go ahead of us without a leader. That I want you to know. Finally, I want you to say this. I know people are aspiring for handshakes. In Nyanza, we have had a handshake. The handshake between President William Ruto and Kenya Kwanza is with the Luo community, not with individuals. I want to emphasize that here. It is not with individuals. So if you, you want to start there saying that there is no the democracy, that you want the servers open, the servers in ODM have not been opened up to <laughs> And there are people crying out there. I'm saying 
this without blinking an eye because it is the truth. So we must change as a community. We will not remain behind for 60 years. I know the leadership of ODM have done their part. But it, this is a relay race. You start, you give to the button to the others. So now we are going to take that button to move on as a community. Thank you very much. Thank you. Briefly. So we shall have one from Kisumu, another one from Siaya. Yeah, we can say. And Migori. Yes, let me just finish. Let me just finish. And gender. Nyamunga. Siaya Bado. Siaya is coming. Thank you, SG. And uh, today I'm so happy that this is a new dawn for the Luo Nyansa. It's a new dawn because you have seen all these leaders who are coming across the Nyansa region coming here today, number one, to declare that we only have one president, legitimate president, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. And those ones who are trying to say that Dr. William Samoy Ruto is not the president, they are daydreamers. And we want them to stay dreaming as the world is moving and Kenya is developing. We are here today to join the larger picture where all Kenyans are. And that is the only party that we know will take us somewhere in terms of development. And that party is known as UDA, Kasi Nikasi. That's why we are here. And we want to tell you, we are only representing our people at the back in our villages. And they have also sent us to join the president and engage in development instead of going on the streets, creating chaos and violence. And today, as their leader, who have worked there for 15 years, that is three terms in parliament, we want to ask our people to desist from all these mandamanos. The mandamanos are there to create only one focus, for one an individual to benefit. And therefore, we are telling our people, and I'm proud of the people of Kisumu, please just keep it on. Let only few go on the street, and they can write as many as they want to write and take it to the uh, county commissioner. And after two minutes, that thing will die out. And we want to tell Kenyans that we are also part and parcel of this country. We pay our taxes, and we have declared our support for the president of the day. How long can we be able to pay? For many years, we have been there for 15 years in, 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 in politics. We have sacrificed lives. The bloodshed that we have seen in the past 30 years, every five years, we must lose our people. And the latest one was the, the innocent uh, girl called uh, Baby, Baby Pendo. Pendo. Yeah. How much more could we give in order to be free? And today, we want to tell them, this is a new dawn. We will have our own freedom. And we are coming down there. Let, wait, let them wait for us. We will not ask Kenya to, to, to help us fight them. We will fight within ourselves to make sure that our people are freed. And they will be freed and free what? Indeed. That's why we are here. And we want to thank the president for the development. Me personally, on behalf of the people of Kisumu County, there are two major projects. Koru Soindam. That is a 30 billion project that will bring water by gravity going down to support the peasant farmers who are growing rice. Now we have another one called the Fish Institute of Cabonio. That's where I was born. At three billion since the time memorial, I've never seen three billion coming to my own village. And we have only seen it with this current president, the president that we love, Dr. William Samoy Ruto. And as we go back, our comrades, Kasini, Kasini, Kasini. And let them wait for us down there to tamenyana kwili kwili, to takanyagana kwili kwili, until the freedom will come. I have Siaya. Siaya and then women, then our two women. Siaya.
Banaezi and uh, silence. Silence, please. Banaezi and members of the media. My name is Engineer Nicholas Bumbo. I've been uh, Governor Aspirant Siaya twice, but today I'm here, and I want to confirm to you that this is a decision that we have made voluntarily. No, in fact, we. I'm sure we ambushed you because we decided among ourselves that this is the direction we want to go. And the reasons are very obvious. My colleagues have talked about them. I don't want to repeat them. But I just want to say that uh, the problems facing our people are real. Some of us would not be sitting here if we did not overcome those problems in one way or another. But every election time, we never talk about those problems. Uh, when SG, there was a time I, an Israeli friend of mine visited me when I was the member of parliament for Arieda. And he looked at Lake Victoria and he said, how can you people be poor when you are hugging this massive resource? We really must talk about how we can empower our people. We really, because no matter how good you are, we must accept that no one can live forever. We really must talk about how we are going to take care of the future generations so that you are going to have many more engineer gumbos in the days to come. These are conversations that we don't have back there. Instead of these conversations, you are given amorphous terms like tialala, Tibim, Riap, who feeds on Tialala, Tibim, and Riap, honestly? Some of us have seen what can happen when you uh, try to oppress others. I was in the 10th parliament, and when I SG at that time, ODM was commanding 49% of all members of parliament. In the 11th parliament, that went down to 29% because of failure to practice democracy. In the 12th parliament, it went down to 20%. So when some people think they are oppressing others, they are actually injuring themselves. I don't want to say too much, except to my colleagues. This journey that we have started requires courage. Because definitely, there are going to be people who will start finger pointing. There are people who are going to call you that you are betrayed. Betrayed who? I mean, democracy is free choice. It is a, 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 a complete, espoused in Article 4 of our Constitution. If you are free to stick to your party, why can't I be free to move to a party from a party where I'm not wanted? I mean, some of the things happening there are ridiculous. In 2017, I was running against Governor Rasanga. It's so ridiculous, you can't even believe it. First of all, because they knew that I was strong on the southern part of Siaya, the ballot boxes the so-called ballot boxes came at 10 p.m. in the night. The following day, still people insisted on voting. When they were still counting votes in my polling station, they were announcing Governor Rasanga as the winner when already he had 135,000 and the fellow had 62,000. And I faced the whole DM party leader and told him, tell me, you, you say you believe in the democracy. Did Rasanga beat me in 2017? He tells me, let bygones be bygones. My friend, just like Martin Luther King said, if democracy has to reign, it has to reign in Luolan as it reigns in Nairobi. You cannot cry democracy in Nairobi and you don't care about democracy in Luolan. This is why we are here. And for me, I am telling all of us who are here, and I told the president yesterday, my home and the, the ODM party leader's home is only seven kilometers apart. I've received so many threats, but so what? I have more children some, than some of these people threatening me, even <laughs> if I die. <laughs> even if I die today, my children will take over. This thing requires courage. So my colleagues, what I'm telling you, there is, I want to paraphrase one of the greatest leaders this world has ever known, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the 32nd president of the United States of America. 
on the journey that we have started, the only thing to fear is fear itself. Let us banish the fear. And my friend here is a poet. He knows that in the book uh, called No Longer at Ease, yes. there was a time that uh, the ba the, a bat, you know the bat, mm -hmm. it's called what, Popo, I think? Popo. Popo. Used to rule over all the bats because all the bats thought that the ears were actually horns. Yeah. Until one day a sparrow, a very small bat, decided to fly past the ears and he discovered these things were actually not horns. They were just, they were just years. And it was, <laughs> so sometimes what we think are horns are just ears. So ladies and gentlemen, we are here. We are not looking back. Personally, I've been persuaded many, many times to try to go back to ODM. But I've said, even if I'm given a free ticket, I will not go back there. Because I know the interest is not about our people. The interest is about individuals and how to propagate the aspirations of individuals at the expense of an entire community. Thank you, Bona SG. Thank you, my colleagues. Let us be courageous. Let us move forward. Just, 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 uh, I will. just before that, just before gender, Charles so we know the, say something. Then gender, then Migori. You know, you, know, you know gender is a county. Yeah, yeah. Are right You are next. Yeah, SG, thank you so much. Order. I think we are here today to enjoy the fruits of multi-party democracy. That's what we are enjoying today because we have space to join whatever parties we think are right for us. As a community, I think we are suffering what is called exclusion, where for a very long time since we got independence, we have found our community excluded. Not that we are excluded by others that Kenyans don't like us, but many a times we exclude ourselves. Just like now the elections have ended, we have decided, uh, a number of our people have decided not to work with government, and that means exclusion. And at the end of the day, we are going to cry that we are not included. I am here specifically because I think in my experience as a civil servant, as I had been before, members of our community have suffered and have continued to suffer, not only civil servants, businessmen, and uh, even people that are involved in, uh, even the private sector people suffer. The reason being that we are the only community that you find that everybody is in one party, one basket. If you look at the whole country, every community is divided. So we have come here to cushion members of our communities who are in business, who are in private sector, who are in civil service, so that they are not excluded. They are included in the development and the growth of this country. And for that reason, I echo my colleagues who are with us here today that we have joined uh, this big party in order to cushion our community, and we are asking everybody else who may be a coward to join us. The journey has begun. We are going to continue. The future is here. And if anybody thinks that this government is going to fall, it's not going to fall in the next 10 years. So let every one of us uh, that feels they can join us, and we are not killing multi-party democracy. People can be in various parties. If those who want to join UDA will join. Those who want to remain in ODM will remain in ODM. But some of us, uh, Engineer Gumpo knows, we worked with him at one point, and I had to leave. And, and, and uh, I, yeah, I took off strategically, and that is why we are here today. If, if I didn't, uh, we would have been called losers. I've never lost an election, so let nobody come, come here and say we are, we, are, we are losers. And I think the next elections, wherever I'll go, I'll not lose. Thank you so much. May God bless you. And uh, uh, we, hope for, we hope for the best. Senator Nyamunga. Come on, Senator. Yeah, first of all, uh, my name is Rose Nyamunga. I want to thank the SG. 
young man that I admired most. We served very well with him in the Senate. The one thing I like about Mal Senator Malala is that he speaks his mind. Even any time I sat on the seat as a speaker, he would come and tell me, Madam Speaker, this ABCD should be corrected. So I knew you are going to go very far. We wish you very well. Yeah, first of all, I must say that I started politics very many years back as a very young girl. And I believed then in the leadership that we had. I think I started with Jaramogi when Jaramogi was still alive. Moved on up to this stage. And I must say that ODM made me what I am, put me at the national agenda. And I thank them for that. But even as I do that, I must say that you serve somebody or you serve a party as long as they think that they need you. And when time comes that they feel that they don't need you, there is no need sitting there wasting time whining and dining. And because of that, I made a very conscious decision to move from ODM, and I have my very good reasons why I moved, because I felt that I was not needed there. Much as I knew I was very faithful, very supportive, very hardworking, and I could, I, I could climb the mountains and reach wherever. And I have consciously decided to join UDA, and my reason for joining UDA is I want, I still feel that I'm very useful as an individual in this country. I can still do a lot. Because when I started, my women did not have a lot of things. Up to to date, the same things are still missing in my village, in my county, and I believe in many parts of this country. So the war continues, and the fight continues. We must make sure, sure that our women, our women are liberated and taken care of and given the space that they need. I don't think any time we'll be sitting and I will not allow or even agree. As I join UAD, uh, UDA today, I am an equal member today, just like the SGA is. Yes. Yes, I am a full member of UDA, and we must find space for our youth and our women, and we must make sure there is democracy, there is space for each and every person who lives and who, uh, who is uh, a, a national of this country. So I join you, uh, SG with all my heart, and you know how decisive I can be. I am a very strong and very decisive pe person. And once I make up my mind, that is it. I thank you. That's not so, you, can, you can do me gory. OK, and then. Yes, a brief, 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 huh? very brief, yes. Okay. Uh, when I we thank you. People from the fourth estate, we are here today for a purpose. And before I explain myself, when SG, Allow me to recognize the coordinators from various counties. These are the people who have been working tirelessly. And in fact, they contributed a lot for us to be here today. Now, the war has started, and I want to make it very clear that the people who are here today are the opinion shapers. And I can assure you on SG that in the next two, three, four, five months, you will see wonders in Nyanza region. I come from Migori County, and we have been lagging behind since 1963. We can no longer be in that prison. We have to come out and start our journey. And that journey is simple. We are recognizing the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. Samoy Ruto. And there is no any other government apart from the government of Samoy Ruto. If somebody is thinking of another government, that is up to him or up to her. As we are fully 
behind this particular government. And we are now the life members of UDA. May God bless you. Thank you. Lastly, 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 we have Mwishmiwa here. These are democratic parties. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Bana SJ. Uh, Bana SJ, recently I had the privilege to be elected the chairman of Nyanza leaders working with President Ruto. And uh, Bana SJ, I wish to report here that we have had very intensive consultations with the president and his deputy. And we thank the president for having reached out to Luo Nyanza and invited us to join his government. And it is on that account that we are here to join his government through the party UDA. We are here voluntarily and on behalf of the people of Luo Nyanza because we cannot afford to disenfranchise ourselves from the mainstream development of this country. We have seen in previous times our community has always protested against successive governments. For the last 60 years, we have never been comfortable with any government. It is this opportunity that has been created by His Excellency President William Ruto that he has invited us to join his government that we must take and heed that call. It is on that account that we have come and we have agreed that we don't only join alone, we are going to join with members of our community. And to that extent, we are now, we have come here with a bang, and Bwana SG, I know you have felt us in this building. We are going down in a big way. Migori, we are coming. Homa Bay, we are coming. Kisumu, we are coming. And Siaya, we are coming. We want to see a very harmonious coexistence between different parties. There is a very harmonious coexistence in Rift Valley between UDA members and ODA members. There's a very harmonious coexistence between members of UDA in Central and members of ODM. We expect the same in Nyanza, that there is a harmonious coexistence of different views of political persuasions. What we want to pursue are three things that our community have missed in the past. Number one, we want to feel the presence of Luo community in government in terms of employment. Number two, we want to feel the presence of the government in terms of development in Luo Nyanza. Number three, we want to ask the president to open up business for the Luo Nyanza so that we feel part and parcel of this uh, government. And to that extent, I wish to say that we have come here to join the party and to be life members and walk the journey in the, for the next 10 years with the president and his deputy, Rigadi Gachagua. To that extent, I want to say, UDA, Kasi Kasi. UDA, Kasi Kasi. Asante Disana. On behalf of UDA, we want to welcome uh, Honorable Eric to welcome, uh, now you'll orient them, huh? <laughs> time, 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 time. It has been expressed. After this, there is Ramogi uh, FM who would like you to address them. Thank you very much, Bwana SG. My name is Eric Wamumbi, member of parliament for Madera constituency. Na wacha niongee na ruga ya Kiswahili. Ili paka shosho yetu huko mashinani ya sikie. Bwana SG, mimi nataka kusema mambo mawili. Ya kwanza, President William Ruto na naibu yake Rigathi Gashagua ni viongozi wa wakenya wote. Kutoka Nyeri mpaka Kisumu, kutoka Kiambu mpaka Siaya. Na maendeleo itafanyika nchi hii kwa kila mtu. Mpaka Kisumu, Siaya, Migori, Bungoma kila mahali. Rais ametangaza kwamba miradi ya maendeleo atafanya kwa kila mkenya. Wale walio mchagua na wale ambao hawaku mchagua kwa sababu yeye ni rais wa Wakenya wote. Ya pili, nichukue fursa hii nikaribishe viongozi kutoka Luoland. 
karibu katika chama yetu ya UDA chama ya mkenya wote chama ambayo inajali wa Kenya wote katika nchi hii na mimi sababu nimetoka madhira na mnajua sisi watu wa madhira tunaongeanga ukweli we are truthful men mimi niambie hawa wangwana sasa wamekuwa shareholders wa hii serikali ya William Ruto Gavana Kidero Sasa tauta na viongozi wote ambao wamekuja leo. Sasa nyinyi mmekuwa shareholders kwa serikali ya William Ruto na Rigathi Gashagua. Mtapewa shares kidogo, muwekeze, 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 alafu iendelee kuza. Na hiyo ndio tunataka katika nchi hii. Watu wote wakuje tushikane mkono. Na tunawashukuru kwamba mmesema Kisumu hakutakuwa na, ma, na maandamano. E, Migori hakutakuwa na maandamano. Siaya hakuta hakutakuwa na maandamano hawa viongozi wamesema hawataki maandamano wanataka maendeleo na tuuliza watu wote kutoka Luoland muepuke muachane na maandamano mkuje tufanye maendeleo tujenge nchi yetu tushikane kwa sababu sisi ni kitu moja wakikuyu wakalejini waluya wanjaluo sisi ni wakenya na sisi ni kitu moja tuunge rais wetu mkono tujenge nchi tujenge maendeleo kisumu na Luoland kwa hivyo sasa tumekubaliana nyinyi kuanzia leo ni shareholders tumepewa shares tuendelee kuwekeza kuwekeza alafu sisi wote tukue kitu kimoja asante sana na karibu katika chama chetu cha UDA asante senator kutoka Nyanza nominated senator from Nyanza kila mtu ongea senator Gloria awidia ongea awidia ongea eh hey, UDA but I want to say this. President William Samoy Ruto has liberated Rift Valley from dynasties. Situliona? Maneno ya dynasty huko Rift Valley it was ilifikishwa mwisho, si ndio? The same President William Ruto has liberated Mount Kenya from dynasties. Situliona hiyo maneno? Sasa sisi hapa Nyanza tunasema pia sisi we want that freedom. And our president has come through. He has brought all these able leaders and he has said maneno ya dynasty, maneno ya, ya ile one party ndio inasema pale maneno ya maandamano inafika mwisho, si ndio? So from today moving forward as Nyanza, and I want to speak this very strongly on behalf of the women of Nyanza who have been suppressed. We have been suppressed in Nyanza. The politics of Nyanza has never allowed the women of Nyanza to come forward. And finally, we have a party, United Democratic Alliance, that is allowing women to come strong, to move forward, and be part of the decision-making, uh, on the table of the decision-makers. So, kwa leo, sina mengi ya kusema, lakini, as Nyanza, we are happy. The women who have joined us, tunasema karibu, karibu kwa hii chama, hapa tuko na freedom, tunatembea, tunaongea, na tuna karibishwa kwa zile meza ambazo ziko na development. Maneno ya maandamano tunasema tutaki maneno ya maandamano as women. As women of Nyanza, we are saying we are going to move forward with our president and we must end that dynasty thinking in Nyanza. Asante sana. Bunge Uwili kuanza mheshimiwa Nyakundi ya Madizi aongea hapo Uwili ya Madizi. Uwili sapaita. Uwili. Uwili sapaita. Yes. Which one you could do uh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, members of the fourth estate. My name is Honorable Jafet Nyakundi, member of parliament for Kitutu Chache North and the national treasurer for UDA. I want to thank uh, my brothers from Luo Nyanza for coming to join us as UDA. And I also want to thank them for liberating themselves against mandamano, against slavery of poor man, workmanship, and against slavery of, uh, of one party state. I want to assure them that uh, UDA is one party that is ready to work with every Kenyan. UDA is the ruling party that is ready to work for Kenyans to bring development from Mombasa to Siaya, from Kisumu to Migori, everywhere in this country. And I want to assure them, this is the right path that they've taken to make sure that Luo Nyanza is liberated. For a long time, it is only, it's in Nyanza, it is only Kisi that has been in the government. 
but I want to thank them because they've brought, they've brought warmth to the entire Nyanza region, and I want to assure them that the President, Dr. William Ruto, and the Deputy President, Rigathi Gashagwa, is ready to work with each and every Kenyan from whatever area they come from. So I know there will be threats and intimidation from the other side, but I want to tell you guys to be firm, to be strict, to work for your people, because this is what the people of Luo Nyanza want. The people of Luo Nyanza don't want Mandamano anymore. The people of Luo Nyanza want development. The people of Luo Nyanza want the cost of living and the cost of uh, food to go down. And I believe that is the main reason they have decided today to join the UDA party for the purpose of bringing development and making sure that the cost of living has gone down in the entire country. So, Nataka Kuambia, Karibu Sana, we will work together. And we also want to thank the President, as the people of Nyanza, for this seat that they gave us for Treasurer for UDA. If it were other people, that seat could have gone to one region. But they have brought this seat to Nyanza region. And we want to thank the President so much for bringing this seat, and we want to assure him that we will work with all Kenyans to make sure that Ata Sisi shares Zetu Ziko Ukoju. We want to assure Kenyans that by 2027, yes. by 2027, our shares will be 80% in this company. So thank you so much, and may God bless you. Thank you. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay, order. Oh, order. Okay, order. order. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am the Odoyo Owidi. Something has not been spoken here. How come the Luo have tolerated this disrespect for so many years? What has been happening in Luoland is the party leader of ODM has devised a method that there is no alternative voice heard on the ground. If you hold any alternative views to his, they never allow you to speak on the ground. You recently saw what happened to the MPs who went to visit the president. You heard about what happened in Noma Bay just a few days ago. So these ladies and gentlemen behind me here, they have agreed that their voices are going to be heard on the ground so that the people have alternative views in them. And it is not going to be easy. I can promise you Luland is going to be turned into a battlefield because they'll bring it on and we'll also bring it on. And get ready with your cameras. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as we finish, we want to present life member uh, uh, certificates to the honorable members who are here. All of them will receive, but just ceremoniously, we will have uh, uh, Senator Outa Nimona Yako Iko Tayari, Namoshimua Roth Nyamunga, and Mwishimua uh, Ranguma is here. Mwishimua Kidero. Uh, we can have, we can start with. Uh, look at the cameras. Uh, we go to Mushmua Jack Ranguma with our governor. Look at it. <laughs> Asante. Mushmua Ross Nyamunga. It's okay here. Yeah. And then we should be afraid of Uta. Soko, soko. Soko, soko. Kasi Nika? Kasi. UDA? Okay. Sante? Yes. You have printed. Ah, Sam. Delhi. 